What's up everybody? You know who it is. Um, I'm back from Mips. Just got back a few hours ago and I took a fucking nap because I got no sleep while I was up there. I'll get into that in a minute. Um, this video is for people who want to know what will happen when you go. It, like, I, I mean, it may be different from where I'm at from where y'all might be because everywhere is different. Every state is different. But I'll tell you what happened at my Mips in Raleigh, North Carolina. Alright, well... You first go in there, when you get your schedule, your recruiter will give it to you. Um, with me, I went to the recruiter's office, I sat there forever. We just kind of chill, talk, we were just kicking it. Left his office, <clears throat> he dropped me off at MIPS. Went in there, they scan your fingers, they get your ID, your social security card. Keep scan. They scan your fingers like two fucking, two or three times. Because I, I guess they want to make sure, you know, I don't know what that was about, but they did it. So then after that, they'll send you in the back, you take your ASVAB. ASVAB takes uh, two to three hours, depends on how long you really work on it. You'll get your score as soon as you're done, and they'll place it in the envelope that you should already have from your recruiter. They'll tell you not to open it, but everybody does when they get back to the hotel. So, and that's what I did too. Well, so you wait, and then everybody gets done. Everybody's sitting out in the middle of the lobby area or whatever of MIPS, and then you get onto a shuttle, you go to your hotel. The hotel I went to was fucking awesome, man. We got free food. It was a lounge area with TVs and fucking PlayStation and computers. It was like the life of a fucking... It was like behind stage celebrity type shit for like an hour and a half. That's what I felt like. But it really wasn't worth it because you have no time. Curfew's at 10 and you got to be up in your room. Well, the rooms are clean at the hotel I went to, the Hilton Inn in Raleigh. And, excuse me. Um, you'll go up in there. My advice to y'all is go to sleep. I couldn't sleep, and I was up to like 1, and I felt like shit this morning. Because you wake up at 4.30 to a fucking phone ringing, and you get two chances to wake up, and then you get sent home, and your process is over. So wake up and get some sleep. Well, you'll wake up, you'll, you got like 15 minutes to get your shit together, get downstairs, eat breakfast for 30 minutes, you get on a bus, you go back to MIPS. While you're in there in Mets, you'll go, I forgot what the guys are called, but each branch has like two of some, two soldiers from that branch, and I forgot what they're called, but they'll tell you, you know, about fraud and stuff, like if you lie to them, you could get prison sentences, all this other shit, fucking five years, dishonorable discharge, all kinds of stuff. My advice to you is if you're like me and you had a misdemeanor on your record for marijuana or drugs or something, stick with the number of times you smoked and the date you started and quit that you and your recruiter came up with. Do not change it, even if it is a lie while you're under pressure. You're just going to make yourself look like a liar. What they don't know won't kill them. They don't know anything about you unless you tell them. They'll try to fool you. They'll try to trick you. They'll try to fucking interrogate you. They try to make you think you're lying to them, but don't crack under that pressure, whatever you do. Well, after that, you leave and you'll go to the health area and you'll get your vision checked your um, hearing check, blood drawn, drug test, you'll talk to a doctor, they'll take your pulse rate, um, you'll get a physical, you gotta spread your ass cheeks, uh, it sucks, but um, yeah, you gotta do all that stuff, do duck walk, all these weird movements and shit to make sure that you're good and you're eligible to be in the military, well after you're done with all of that, you'll go to the little lobby area outside of all the branches offices, where the guys are I talked to you about earlier that are going to try to pressure you and stuff. Well, you go there and you wait, and I guess they call you in there after that. I didn't get that far because I didn't make over 50 on my ASVAB. I wasn't an alpha. I'm a bravo, which means I got to go back in a month or two and swear in and do the rest of the process. But as far as my health and all the hard shit you got to get through, I did it. And there's a lot of waiting. Nets really isn't that bad, but I was sleepy. Like I said, I was going off two hours of sleep, so I was like dragging the whole day. But it's really not that bad. It's just mostly boring. More boring than anything. You sit around. And you don't do shit, really. And when you get out of there, it's like fucking prison break. You feel so free when you get out of there. You're so glad to be leaving. As soon as I left, my recruiter picked me up. We went to the store. Got some drinks. We chilled for a while. Went back. I got home. I went home. And then, yeah. That was my Mets experience. Um, really, my advice. Like I said, get some sleep. And... If you got something on your waiver, if you had to get a waiver to get into the Marine Corps, stick with what the waiver says. Don't crack under pressure. You're going to have to restart the whole process. And they're going to ask you. I forgot to mention something. <clears throat> You're going to get sheets that have all these medical issues and problems on it. If it's nothing serious, like if you don't have a heart fucking tumor or something like that or a murmur or whatever, like if you're 
fine in your organs and you are physically able to do shit and you know it, just hit no for everything. That's the best option. Because every little thing you tell them, they're going to treat it like it's fucking leukemia or something. They're going to be like, oh, well, you got to restart. We got to waiver you. You got to explain this. We got to do that to get you in. Me, I was underweight by four pounds. So I got disqualified, but then we wrote a waiver and it got approved. So I'm still going to boot camp whenever I go back and I swear in, I just got to put some weight on me. Well, anyway, y'all, that is my MEPS journey. Any questions, comment, um, like, subscribe. I'll put another video up after boot camp. I don't know when that'll be, but when it is, I'll let y'all know. I'll probably let y'all know when I'm leaving another video letting you know. And then afterwards, well, anyway, y'all, um, take it easy and good luck, future Marines.